Hello students, welcome back in your English class. I hope you all are fine. Today in this video, we are going to discuss future perfect continuous tense. Students, we have already completed future perfect tense in our last class. And we all know that in future perfect tense, we express actions which will be completed in future at a certain point of time. So after future perfect tense, it is future perfect continuous tense. And today we are going to talk about this. So let's start. First of all, we will see what is there in our content. First of all, we will discuss future perfect continuous tense. Then sentence structure of future perfect continuous. Then when do we use or how do we use future perfect continuous? And then examples and we'll have some activities. So let's start the discussion of future perfect continuous tense. Students, here two sentences are given. First one, I shall have been living in Delhi for five years by the end of this year. Second one, by 2021, I will have been living in London for 16 years. Now students, why do we say I shall have been living or I will have been living? Or by that time I will have been working? Why do we say? You will get the answer now only. First of all, see, the name itself of the tense has something to do with future. Future perfect continuous and continuous is also here. That means something will be continuing, right? Now, see here, I have given one timeline here, okay? This is now, that means present. We are here in the present. This is future 2021, next year. And this is past 2005. Right? Now see the second sentence. By 2021, I will have been living in London for 16 years. Right? You are here in present and here you are saying that by 2021, you will have been living in London for 16 years. That means in 2021, you are going to complete your 16 years in London. That means when you have started, you have started living here in 2005, 16 years back. Right? In this context, we use future perfect continuous tense to express an action which will be continue, which will be in a continuation at a certain or at a specific time in the future. See, uh, or it you can say also like this that uh, by 2021 I will have been living in London for one year. That means from present you are expressing the action which will be in uh, continuation up to 2021. It may happen that you have not started in the 2005. Okay. See the another um, sentence. I shall have been living in Delhi for five years by the end of this year. That means at the end of this year, by the end of this year, I am going to complete my five years. That means five years back, I have started living in Delhi and still I am living. And again, uh, by the end of this year, I shall have been living in Delhi only. Right? Now let's see what is actually future perfect continuous. An action that continues up to some Future point of time comes under future perfect tense. Continues up to some future point of time. Okay. See the examples again. This I will have been living in London up by 2021. That means this will be continued. Again, I shall have been living in Delhi for five years by the end of this year. This action will be continued. This will be a continuation. Progressive. Okay. Now, let's see the sentence structure of 
फ्यूचर परफेक्ट कंटिन्यूर फर्स्ट एफर्मेटिव सेंटेंस फर्स्ट वी राइट सब्जेक्ट देन शैल और विल अकॉर्डिंग टू सब्जेक्ट देन हैव देन बी बिन बी ई ई एन बिन देन रूट फॉर्म ऑफ द वर्ब और बेस फॉर्म और प्रेजेंट फॉर्म एनी थिंग यू कैन से विथ आई एन जी दिस फॉर्म दैट मीन्स वर्ब विथ आई एन जी इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड प्रेजेंट पार्टिसिपल ऑफ वर्ब ओके देन ऑब्जेक्ट एंड देन टाइम रेफरेंस यू कैन यूज फॉर फ्रॉम प्लस टाइम और पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम और यू कैन यूज एनी टाइम रेफरेंस ओके फॉर एग्जाम्पल I shall have been teaching for twenty years next July. Here, I is subject. Then shall we use shall with I. Then have according to the sentence structure. Then been and then with teach we have used ing and this is the present participle form of verb teach teaching. Okay, and then the time reference for twenty years next July. okay see the next sentence again i subject then will have been wait plus ing waiting here for 3 hours by 6 o'clock next negative sentence in negative sentence first we write subject then will or shall according to subject then not then have then been first form of verb with ing which is also called present participle of verb then object and then time reference anything you can use for from if you are using for or from then you have to mention the time now let's see the example he will not have been sleeping for 4 hours by midnight he subject then will then not then have been been then sleep plus ing sleeping and then time reference again next sentence she will not have been singing professionally for one year by the time our parents get married again here she will not have been sing plus ing singing and then time our parents by the time our parents get married again a time reference is given now we will see interrogative sentences first will or shall as it is interrogative first we write the auxiliary verb or helping verb will or shall according to subject then subject then have then been then first form of verb with ing then object and then time reference and of course after that question mark don't forget to put question mark you people do this mistake by our 40th marriage anniversary will this plant have been growing for 35 years okay this is a time expression we have used this first and then we have started the sentence structure we have followed that okay you can also write like this will then this plant subject then have been growing and then for 35 years next will you have been living in ireland for 5 years at that point okay this is another example now when do we use future perfect continuous tense right now future perfect continuous this tense expresses action which will be in progress at a specific time in the future okay for example next november we will have been living in this house for 15 years that means at a specific time here specific time is next november time is specified here and then which work will be in action will have been living okay in this house for 15 years that means we are going to complete 15 years in next november got it next we the action which will be in progress before another action in the future like by the time the guests arrive i will have been cooking all day here 
by the time the guests arrive is an action and again another action i will have been cooking all day we use future perfect continuous tense to talk about how long will something will be going on in the future at a specific time right and uh, here we are getting this that by the time the guests arrive this is another action i will have been cooking all day that means the guests will arrive that is one an action that is one action and another action is i will have been cooking all day okay i hope this is clear to you next some common expressions that we, we use in this tense like by this saturday by this monday or next summer you can uh, omit by you can just write next summer or next winter or you can also use for and after that you have to write the period of time or you can you have to mention the time okay now what can we not use in this tense in english in perfect continuous we cannot use stative verbs now what are stative verbs generally verbs are of two types one dynamic words uh, verbs dynamic verbs uh, for example run cook that means action words okay and another is stative verbs stative verbs are one kind of verb which express state okay it can be mental state it can be emotional or it could be anything like no believe realize love prefer own this is expressing possession right belong these are stative verbs and we don't use stative verbs in perfect continuous either it is present perfect continuous or past perfect or it is future perfect continuous okay so uh, if you are thinking that uh, which verbs are stative verbs you can easily get this online or in the books also it will be available so there is a list big list of the stative verbs okay that means just you just keep in your mind that stative verbs means uh, it will express state okay mental state or emotional state any state it is going to express now let us have a look on some examples and then we will have some activities also for example i shall have been doing the work before my father comes here subject then shall then have then been then verb plus ing then object and then time reference he will have been studying at oxford when he gets his degree next by september the company will not have been advertising posts for two years in these all sentences we are getting time reference right and we are also getting the action which will be in continuation like will not have been advertising right when he retires how long will jack have been managing this department this is interrogative sentence and see how long will jack have been managing this department again here when he retires is also written that means this how long it is asking for timing right time reference time context here this question is asking the context or the time period jack have been managing this department now let's practice you have to express the given verb as future perfect continuous tense let's start by the time we reach niagara falls we dash drive in the bracket the verb is given drive for 8 hours now what you have to do first of all you have to recall the sentence structure okay then you will see the verb here drive then what is the subject we you can use here shall or you can also use here will okay after will we have to put have 
then been and then verb with ing that means first we will write will have been driving by the time we reach niagara falls we will have been driving for 8 hours right now few so fill in more fill in the blanks are there you have to write it on of your own okay you just try to write the answers of your own and if you find it difficult then ask me i am always there second sentence is next month you the verb is write this book for two years next when he retires next year he dash uh, verb is teach for 25 years next dash she again dash verb is teach for 10 years next year okay you just try your own and then only you will understand that how much you have learned now we will spot the error now we will see some common mistakes that are made while writing this tense let us correct it together first stative verbs just i told that we don't use stative verbs in perfect continuous tense okay first read the sentence by next year we will have been knowing their family for 50 years now look at the verb here verb is knowing no plus ing and just i have told that no is a stative verb that means we will not use stative verbs okay in some cases it is allowed but most of the times it, it is not allowed and in general ru uh, rule we don't use stative verbs in this tense in perfect continuous either future or present or past anyone okay now we have to correct the sentence what will be the correct sentence we have to change the tense because in this tense we cannot use knowing okay we will write this sentence as future perfect tense by next year we will have what is the sentence structure of future perfect will then have and then past participle form of verb right so the past participle form of verb no is known so the sentence will be by next year we will have known their family for 50 years okay now if there is no time okay sometimes there is a mistake because we have to use this tense in a context we have to use the context like at a specific time in the future or another action in future but sometimes people forget this and don't use the time context which does not make, make any sense okay now the sentence is i will have been studying here for three years this sentence could be correct if somebody asks you a question and you have to only answer that for how long you uh, will have been studying there. If you are answering this that I will have been studying for three years in Oxford uh, by the uh, end of this year then it is correct. Okay but if you yourself is saying this sentence then it is incomplete sentence. This, sen this is not giving the complete sense right so you have to add a time context a context you have to add you have to give a, a specific time here see by november so i have added here by november a specific time i have given here then i will have been studying here for three years now this is complete sentence okay spelling mistakes are common so be careful here are some spelling mistakes now you have to identify that and also you have to avoid that okay see the first sentence this year they will have been guiding tours for 10 years now you have to find which one is wrong they will have been guiding this spelling is wrong the actual spelling of guide is g-u-i-d-e 
and you have to add ing it is correct but when we add ing we just omit e right we write g u i d i n g so the correct spelling will be this this guiding is correct spelling g u i d i n g and so our correct sentence this year they will have been guiding tools for 10 years okay or uh, you people do this type of mistakes a lot okay so be careful second sentence by next july we shall have been living here for 3 years and i just got that here living l i v e i n g this is totally wrong when we add i n g with leave we just omit e we don't write e we write l i v i n g okay so our sentence will be by next july we shall have been living here for 3 years so after uh, this it's quiz time we will have a quiz and then it will help you to understand how much you have learned so far questions are given here test your understanding then by answering these questions first question is by the time we reach india we dash for 18 hours options are will have fly will have been flying will fly second sentence this summer he dash at the hospital for 10 years your options are will have been volunteering will have volunteering or will been volunteering okay next question that's incredible by next year he dash for 40 years will have been playing in a band has been playing in a band had been playing in a band next by 10 we dash for 8 hours your options are will have been driving will have been driving or this uh, again will have been driving so this question is a little bit tricky and um, just guess that guess the correct answer next number 5 you need to get up and walk around on the plane otherwise you dash for more than 12 hours will have been sitting will have been sitting will have been seated just look at the options properly now the last one which is correct you have to identify the correct sentence next month they will have been knowing each other for 50 years second sentence second option next month they will have known each other for 50 years now students you have to answer this on your own okay try to give the correct answer see the video watch the video again and again go through your book if there is any confusion then answer this try your level best to give the correct answer we will discuss the answer in our next online class so this is the last tense and with this we have completed the chapter tense thank you and watch the video again and again and clear your doubts too Thank you all of you have a nice day